I don't know why you're so upset when you still have a f***ing ton of money, dude. What, what do you mean? I mean, you are... You are... I'm not upset, you're the one that just swore. I'm actually quite happy and thankful I live in the greatest country ever to exist. Yeah, excuse, excuse me for swearing. I feel like this entire getup is just you afraid of losing your economic and like white male privilege. Wait, what privilege do I have as a white person? A sunburn. <laughs> no, no, seriously. It's just ignorant. No, 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 no. Honestly, no, no, no. Know, it was nice to meet you. you Can I, your hand? Uh, yeah, but can you explain to me? Can I your hand? It was nice to meet you. What? I'd like you to think what about do, the what? way your actions affect other people, not just the white male people in this country, no, no, what, what, but everybody what in this country. What does being a white person have think to do about, about anything? And this is, I believe this is a mental issue that happens to people who are oppressed, people who are broke, or people who are poor, or people who have this poor mentality. Because I see no reason why some people feel like a rich man is the reason why they are not able to make income. Like, if you keep on blaming people for, like, things that happen to you, you will not be able to change it. There's something I read recently. He said, if you have an internal force pushing you, no matter the external force, like, no matter the amount of external forces that come your way, you will still be able to drive. And I see no reason why some people feel like, nah, I haven't made it because I'm black. Or I haven't made it because I'm Chinese. Like, a white man, have the you have the same opportunity as a white man. So if you keep on telling yourself, like, lies like this, it's not going to go anywhere. I know where she belongs. She belongs to the streets. Okay, this is the fatness spectrum. A small fat is a size 18 and lower. 1X or 2X. I'm a 4X, 5X. I'm a size 26. Sometimes 28. I am the super fat you say I'm speaking of. Um, yeah, that ain't gonna work. That ain't gonna... You know in jobs, they require someone to to call them by their preferred pronouns? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah that's, I think that's great. Don't you, think, don't you think that as a Christian, if, if one of our commandments is do not lie, and we yeah. are supposed to uphold truth, don't you think that would be against our religion and disrespecting our religion? Uh, I'm a little confused by that. So like if someone, if, if I'm forced to call someone a girl, when I, I obviously know they're a guy and it's very obvious. I, I think that's a you problem, I'm not gonna lie. I think that- Well, can I say that to them too, the trans? Uh, like that's yeah. a you problem? Yeah, you can. You, it goes both ways. Yeah, you could. You like, I could, right? Hey. But since I'm a Christian, all of a sudden no one cares yeah. about Jesus. No one cares so, about disrespecting- so, I'm not gonna lie, I don't so, give a shit about Jesus. He's if like I get cool slapped guy, in yeah. the face, I should be able to slap whatever gender <laughs> person in the face too. Oh, yeah, Equal, absolutely. Equality. Yeah. You wanna know what's fat folk? The photo booths. And here's why. Only one fat bitch fits in here. <laughs> we tried to both get in, and I got stuck. I don't think you're gonna pick off. <laughs> you got this. <laughs> I'm speechless, so I, 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 I don't know what to say. You are fat and you can take a picture in the photo booths. You try your best to create one. Like, the world is open to ideas. Like, you can create one for fat people and if Donald Trump wins, there are going to be a lot of angry people. I can't promise that there won't be some fighting. Ooh, you're hard showing off. But if Donald Trump wins and starts trying to implement some of these measures to take away even more rights, you're not going to want to be around for that fight. I can fucking promise you that. You're not going to want your family to be around for that fight. Because people will die. People will die. You don't know what that is like. I can promise you that. You have no clue what that's like. So keep thinking that you're ready for it. Because I can promise you, you're not. This person like watching morphing like this. People die every day. And Donald Trump was one of the only presidents that have ruled America. And during his time, there was no new war started. And think about it, like, since he left, how many wars have started? Like, do you know things that are happening? See, we need someone that has the zeal to rule, the command, the authority, the audacity, and someone who is willing to lay down his life for America. And I honestly believe that is Donald Trump. So I don't understand the rubbish this muffin is talking about. Do you consider yourself a feminist? As a nice, easy answer, yes. Okay. I think so. Yes. Um, yeah. Do you guys think that women, if we were to get into a war, should be enlisted in the draft? No. No. Um, I don't really have, like, an opinion on it. Like, I feel like if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it's, if it doesn't, it doesn't. I don't think women should be drafted because at the end of the day, it wouldn't really help the war in any much way. Like you said, the drone... Whoa, that's a really sexist statement of you No, because, like, I'm making frontline physical 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas if you're saying, oh, it, should they have a place in the war? Yeah, I feel like if a woman wants to be, would wants be in the war. Yeah. We're talking about force, though, right? Yeah, no force. So, so then for those of you that said you were feminists, do you see any inconsistency be between saying that you want equality, but you're cool with sending men to run into machine guns to protect your society? Does anyone wrestle with that? How do you reconcile that? Yeah. I didn't say I was a feminist. No, no, but you feminist only want the equality that benefits women. No. It's called congratulations. You played yourself. When it came to feminists, until the video is dropped, because when they see the video, they're not interested. They want you to do you and they be the princess. And it's actually heartbreaking for you to see a lot of women who claims all the advantages men get, and when they see these advantages, they run. How old are you? Oh boy, I'm 24. So if you were born 10 years ago, how old would you be? Uh, 34. What? Uh, brother, uh, what's that? <sighs> I'm here, and I know you're scared, and I don't know what to do, but I've got you, and I won't leave you, and I love you, and I'm so sorry that you're scared. But it's okay to feel, it's safe to feel, it's safe to cry, it's safe to move <sighs> When you see Donald Slide is trying to do these kind of things to trend, it actually breaks my heart because this is rubbish. This is pure rubbish. For the fact that you want to accept yourself does not mean you have to. This is rubbish. Stop it. Get some help. This book references vulgarity. It says, Christy is on all fours facing the headboard. Her ASS raised high in the air. And I'm straddling her back as if I was riding a dog or something. But backward, my knees resting on the mattress, my half hard and I'm facing Sabrina who is sure. staring yes, in yes, one more sure. spread open ASS with a determined expression. Her smile seems tortured and she's wetting her own lips by herself and tracing her glistening index finger across them like she's applying lip gloss. With both my hands I keep Christie's ASS and spread open and I urge Sabrina to move in closer and sniff them. The sniff Right. We're gonna, we're gonna adjourn, folks. I motion for Sabrina to move her face in closer until she can stir my fingers. What you just saw was a bunch of tyrants. Uh -huh. Leave the school board meeting because they don't want to hear vulgarity in a book. Uh -huh. Because I read what kids get to read yes. in three schools. I'm actually very angry, like I am boiling inside. For the fact that you can't listen to the rubbish the kids are reading, it's actually heartbreaking. And I don't I don't understand who makes this kind of people board of directors, like who appoints people like this. So I think about it and you are like, nah, my child must go to homeschool because like there's no need for you to take your child to a school where you can see them reading shit like this. We all know the limit of children, like a child is not permitted to vote, a child is not permitted to create a bank account without the guardian. A child is not permitted to do a lot of things. How is it cool for you to allow a child to be, to learn about sex? Like, why? Like, how is it cool? It does not make sense. And this is actually very, very heartbreaking for you to see elderly ones, people who have children and grandchildren actually promoting rubbish like this.